Welcome back to Retro Needy for more favorite 80s TV shows. If you haven't seen the first list yet, no worries, the link is available in the description below, on the link card, and at the end of this video. Now let's get right into more 80s TV show nostalgia starting now. Number 10. Married with Children Love and marriage, love and marriage. Married with Children was one of Fox Network's first sitcom series to air in its primetime lineup. This show follows the Bundy family, who, unlike the regular wholesome sitcom families of the 80s, is a little more dysfunctional, and is considered to be the first raunchy sitcom to run on a regular network. Married with Children ultimately ran for 11 seasons on Fox from April 5, 1987 to June 9, 1997. Number 9. ALF The alien life form known as Gordon Shumway on his home planet crash landed in the Tanner family's garage where they take him into their home and give him the nickname Alf. This show was always a good time to watch, with Alf's wisecracking jokes stealing every scene that he was in. We were worried sick about you. Really? Were you throwing up and everything? <laughs> Even President Ronald Reagan said that ALF was his favorite show. ALF aired for four seasons from September 1986 to March 1990, and even had an animated prequel series in 1987 that explored Gordon's life back on his home planet of Melmac. Number 8. Star Trek The Next Generation Captain Picard and his crew aboard the Starship Enterprise, boldly going where no one has gone before in their 24th century adventures, is our next pick, with Star Trek The Next Generation. Although the original series ended in 1969, The Next Generation first aired in September 1987, and is set 100 years after the original series. The show ran for seven seasons, with the final episode airing on May 23, 1994, popularizing and bringing in a new generation of loyal Trekkie fans. Number 7. Different Strokes Different strokes it takes, different strokes it takes, different strokes to move the world. After the death of their mother, wealthy businessman Philip Drummond takes in the orphan boys from Harlem, Willis, and young Arnold Jackson. You may remember this show from Arnold's common catchphrase, What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> The show is also known for its many, very special episodes that tackled sensitive topics like race, drugs, alcohol, and creepy people, such as in the episode titled The Bicycle Man, where Arnold and his friend Dudley encounter a man with bad intentions. Different Strokes ran for eight seasons from November 1978 through September 1985. Number 6. The Dukes of Hazard. Just a good old boy. Never mean it, no harm. Car jump stunts and southern shenanigans is what you can expect on Dukes of Hazard. This series ran from January 1979 to February 1985 for seven seasons, and during that time, a lot of cars were crashed for the show. Producers said that crashing the police cars were easy to replace, but replacing the General Lee started to become quite the trouble when production ran out of stunt cars, and the Dodge Charger was already in high demand due to the show's popularity that it was getting harder and harder to find one. Producers even disguised an AMC ambassador when they couldn't find a Charger, but when loyal fans noticed the switch, they got so desperate they started approaching people off the street, offering to buy their Dodge Charger right there on the spot. You folks do this often? Oh, well, you know how it is when you get a country boy behind a wheel. <laughs> Number 5. Magnum P.I. Starring Tom Selleck as Thomas Magnum, a private investigator in the island of Oahu. The show was set in Hawaii partly because CBS did not want to lose their Hawaii offices when Hawaii Five-0 ceased production in 1980. So shortly after, Magnum P.I. started production that year and it started airing on television by December 1980, running for eight seasons until May 1988. The series was rebooted in September 2018 on CBS and lasted for four seasons, ending on May 6, 2022. However, there are rumors that it's going to be picked up again, possibly by NBC for a 2023 premiere, but as of the making of this video, it is still unclear. Number 4. The A-Team
sent to military prison for a crime they didn't commit, but now escaped trying to clear their names as they take on four higher missions to help those in need, if you can find them. It's the A-Team. High action, car crashes, with some jokes along the way. One thing's for sure, due to the popularity of the show, the van driven by B.A. Baracus became iconic, and people still try to replicate the look of the van to this day. The A-Team aired for five seasons from January 1983 until March 1987. Number 3. Cheers. Cheers, the bar where everybody knows your name. The sitcom hit the airwaves on September 30th, 1982 and ran through 275 episodes until May 20th, 1993 officially making it the most episodes of any live-action sitcom up to that point. Even though this show is about people at a bar, the producers made it a point to never show anyone leaving the bar drunk to drive home, gaining praise from anti-drunk driving groups such as Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Number 2. Full House Full House, a TV sitcom where widowed father Danny Tanner raises his three daughters along with his brother-in-law Jesse and comedian friend Joey. It's no secret anymore that twin sisters Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen both played the role of the youngest daughter Michelle. And at first, producers didn't want people to know, so they were credited as Mary-Kate Ashley Olsen. It wasn't until the last season of the show that they were credited separately as Mary-Kate Olsen and Ashley Olsen. Full House aired on ABC from September 1987 to May 1995. Number 1. Dallas On March 21, 1980, millions of households were left on the edge of their seats asking, who shot JR on the final episode of the third season of Dallas? The anticipation of finding out who the shooter was catapulted Dallas into the number one rated primetime hour long TV show following the season four premiere on November 7, 1980. And with this new momentum, Dallas became one of the longest lasting primetime dramas in American TV history, airing from April 1978 to May 1991. Two reunion made-for-TV movies were made after the show's end, and a reboot in 2012 aired on cable channel TNT for two years, but was ultimately cancelled due to a decline in ratings. We hope you enjoyed part two of our 80s TV show list. Be sure to check out our first video if you haven't yet. There's so many really good 80s TV shows. Comment below if you'd like to have a part three, and what shows we should list on it. Don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more nostalgia here on Retro Needy.